Yo, we're back again with your daily 3 p.m. Pokemon World Championships practice. Uh, before we jump into the battle, of course, please don't forget to give the video a big ol' like. I think we're trying to shoot for 150 on these videos. Also, uh, don't forget you can click on screen there to subscribe or somewhere else. I don't really know. And then uh, read the description. But yeah, oops, I'm using the wrong... I have the wrong team up there. Don't pay attention to that current team. That is not the current team. <laughs> my current team is the team that you can actually see on my bottom screen there. I, I just accidentally used the wrong layout. Oh, I don't have the right layout for this team. I am sad now. Is it... Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll have to change Pokemon between uh, battles here. So, don't pay attention to that because that's not actually my team. Why don't we just... Let's move a couple. Let's see if we can get a couple Pokemon on here. Oh, Kang. Where's Kang? Must hurry and switch team before battle starts. Um, again, thank you so much to Rogan Natiri for, of course, helping me out with this team. I think I said that before the last time. They are from the JustinFlynn.com community, and uh, they helped me uh, build this. Helped me not only uh, figure out what team to put together, but uh, build it as well. So let's see what else we got here. Thunderous. Okay, I'm in trouble because I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna choose so fast. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. All right, I have no choice but to choose some Pokemon right now. So let's just go. I'm not even looking. I'm gonna go Kangaskhan. Um, let's go Virizion. I'm not, I'm not looking. Clearly, I'm looking. Uh, Kangaskhan Virizion. Do I want to leave Kangaskhan Virizion? Let's gonna leave Kangaskhan Thunderous. Uh, uh, Virizion and uh, and Sukun. Oh, I don't think I got Suicune in there. Nah, that's fine. Okay. Well, we were <laughs> we had stuff to do. Um, all right, let's think of the other Pokemon that are on. Who are? What are the other Pokemon that are on this team? Uh, who did I just put Verizion? Verizion's on here. Verizion. There we go. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I did this all wrong. I did everything wrong. Oh my gosh. Just just don't pay attention to anything that might is going on with my current team. All right, that's wrong. It's so wrong. So, so, so wrong. Okay, so they got a Mega King too. Why don't we Mega Evolve and attempt to win the speed tie here and then I will also um actually is he is it gonna try and figake out my king because why would you you don't know if you're gonna win the speed tie but I just don't want to get hit with sacred sword right now I just don't I just don't want to I don't feel like it I don't want to I am a scared I'm a scared right now um I'm gonna try and fake out their Kang, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Thunder Wave them as well. I'm just gonna try and slow. I'm gonna try and nerf this Kang, but he's a really good opportunity here, of course, to um, just hit me with a Sacred Sword, which is gonna suck, assuredly. <laughs> well, it certainly does suck. You guys ever seen that that thing, that Wayne's World? It's a movie. Ha! <laughs> it certainly does suck. All right. Oh, uh, who used it? <laughs> I am faster than you, Kangaskhan. All right, now I'm dead. Big Thunder Wave, though. This Age of Slash is probably going to ice me, though. Just full ice town on my face. Oh, please don't use Sacred Sword. No, please. Flash. Okay, Flash Cannon. I'll take that. <laughs> flash Cannon, bro. It's not going to do half. All right, about well, almost exactly. But don't worry about it. Okay. So, we're looking good right now. I think the right call is to maybe switch out Kang here? And then... Oh, gosh, I put Clefable in. Oh, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Um, Verizion actually might not be bad in this situation, depending on what their Kang does. Uh, their Kang, I could only think, would Sucker Punch, so I am going to switch in Verizion here. And then I'm going to... Thunderbolt... Oh, no, you know what I should do? No. Yeah. And I'm going to Thunderbolt this Kangaskhan. I feel like working down the Kang is the right call here. But Verizion could just destroy Kang. I don't know. Maybe I should just taunt the Aegislash so it can't, like, King Shield. Could also Thunder Wave it for some 
maybe par paralysis here. Let's just uh, let's thunder wave it too. We just double thunder wave the team, and maybe we'll get lucky. We'll get like a double paralysis, and uh, we'll get a free switch into Verizion here. I was assuming I'd see like another flash cannon. There it is, dude. Oh, the double paralysis. <laughs> no way, man. There's no freaking way. There's no way. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, that's a for sure close combi. Close combat into Kang. And then let's go with a... I guess we can just Thunderbolt the... Uh, Age of Slash here. I mean, he could King Shield, which would suck. I guess I could taunt it, but it's not a big deal. Oh, <laughs> no way. This match isn't real. This match is not real. No. No. Dude, I can't believe that Verizion switch was the truth. That switch was the truth. Oh, I'm not even worried about a Shadow Ball right now. And I still have my king ready to fake out whatever Pokemon. Well, except for Aegislash, of course, because he's ghost. But I don't think it, I don't think he had two ghosts on there, right? Okay, I think I think I think I think that I will outspeed here. So, um, is it Dark Dragon, right? So uh, I could go Stone Edge is nice, but I think Close Combat is going to be perfect here, and. I could Thunder Wave it as well, just to be safe. I really have to get rid of this Aegis Slash. I think I really have to just get rid of Aegis Slash. So if Aegis Slash doesn't King Shield, yeah, that's all I'm going to. I'm going to Thunderbolt Aegis Slash as well. Oh, Fire Blast. Nice Verizion with the avoid. No way. I didn't think he would outspeed me, but he did. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if I would have survived that Fire Blast. I have no idea, but the luck was on my side. I, and I wasn't necessarily worried about that, to be honest. Let, let's think about it right now. That was a risk I was willing to take in this situation because I have Kang in the back, so it doesn't matter. All I had to do was get rid of that Aegis Slash so that it couldn't, like, mess around with any, like, uh, King Shield games and stuff like that. I would have I taken out the, the Hydreigon anyway because I would have faked it out and Thunder Waved it. So there's, there's no way. I would have been fine. Even if I lost Verizion on there, but I didn't. Now it's just like for sure over. I think that I can. Um, the only thing that would suck is if if this Talonflame goes for Thunderous, because I think that he might be able to get Thunderous, even though it's not very effective. I'm gonna go ahead and protect with Verizion. and oh, I can actually double up. Never mind. It doesn't matter who he attacks. Oh, unless Stone Edge misses. No, I'm fine. I'm just going to Stone Edge and Thunderbolt. And that should get rid of um, Talonflame. Now, what I would have done, probably if I was trying to be like... If I needed a big play here. I don't need a big play, but if I needed a big play, I would protect with my Verizion, assuming the Talonflame feels threatened enough to try and get rid of it. But I don't think that it's Brave Bird would get rid of Thunderous. So I, I, I think that my opponent knows it would be pointless to Brave Bird into Thunderous because Thunderous can handle it. So let's see what happens here. Yep, there it is, Verizion. Of course, I'm gonna lose Verizion, but there's gonna be, it's gonna be a ton of damage to Talonflame here on that recoil. Uh, no life orb, so didn't lose any additional damage, but one Thunderbolt is all it takes, baby. <laughs> it's been real, Talonflame. Don't let the door hit you where the good lord split ya. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so we got a we got a, a win today, and uh, of course, as you can tell, I'm sorry. Like it was cr everything was really crazy at the beginning of that, so uh, I apologize. I didn't kind of really intro you guys, but um, yes, as you can tell, I'm still out of town. I don't have face cam right now, but I actually really am loving the no face cam because you guys can see my move list down there as well as my current team. So might be something that sticks around. Uh, I think I might have told you to read the description, but if I didn't, check out the description. And let's go into our next battle. Looks like our next trainer for this battle is going to be Jeremy, or I should say for this uh, round of uh, Pokemon World Championships practice is going to be Jeremy. Um, I do have... <laughs> I'm so sorry. On my current team, it's totally wrong. 
Uh, well, it's not totally wrong. I adjusted a couple of Pokemon there. Uh, this is my, like, I like to call it my power team. Is that what I call it? Yeah, my power team. Because all of these Mons are really, really strong and really good in the, the metagame right now. So it's a very standard team, except for that Verizion, I would say. And then, uh, obviously, I don't have a... Uh, uh, Latios uh, on this particular team. Um, I'm sorry. I totally spaced and I chose the wrong layout, but that's five of the right Pokemon, uh, except for the, that Latios there. So, yeah. Let's take a look at Jeremy's team. Okay, Hydreigon, which I didn't outspeed last time, uh, surprisingly. And then uh, Wash Rotom, Bisharp. Um, I do have a lot of problems with um, Venusaur. So, that's going to be the key Pokemon here to get rid of, because that Pokemon will destroy the rest of my team. Let's think what we need to do here if we're worried about Venusaur. I think I'll go with Thunderous. I can't believe I got that double, what's it called? The double uh, <laughs> double paralysis last game was absolutely ridiculous. Okay, Thunderous and Bisharp lead. Verizion will totally body like three of these Pokemon. Let's go with the Thunderous Bisharp lead. I'll bring Verizion in the back and Kangaskhan. So I think, are these the four Pokemon that we brought? No, last time we had Clefable, right? Oh gosh, I really lucked out. Good thing I, good thing that uh, I didn't have to rely on Clefable last, or was it, Cle no, yeah, Clefable last time. Um. Let's see what happens here. Terrakion, Venusaur. So Venusaur is the scary Pokemon here, which is why Kangaskhan's going to have to take it out. Let's see. Terrakion's fighting. I, I'm going to have to Thunder Wave it and protect. Let's Thunder Wave Terrakion and protect with Bisharp, and then I think I can take it out with an Iron Head because it's what? Rock fighting? So I need to slow it down right now. The only thing that's going to suck is Venusaur could probably Sleep Powder my Thunderous. I could taunt it. But why don't I just protect for the time being? And I'll taunt, I'll taunt it next turn. I have to slow down Terrakion. Alright, let's see what happens here. So, uh, Bisharp, obviously I protected. And, oh, please. Yes, alright, the Thunder Wave Avi going off. I got that. It's Prankster, so you get that plus one priority to status effects. I will outspeed it next time. What is it going to use? Rock Slide, Bishar Protected, and I got that berry for that. It's, I think, the Yachi Berry, right? Is that what that one is? Yachi Berry, baby. Oh, Charty Berry. What was the Yachi one? I don't remember. No, doubled up. Oh, he knew I would protect. He's so smart. He's such a smart trainer. Okay, let's taunt Venusaur because I'm not even trying to get put to sleep here, uh, especially when Kangaskhan comes in. Actually, I will outspeed it, though, at that point, and I can probably just get it with the... Should I just Thunder Wave it? Should I just T-Wave it is the question here and look and search for some para-hacks. Let's, uh... Let's taunt it. Let's taunt it, and then we're going to go with the obvious Iron Head into the Terrakion slot. I feel like he's going to switch out Terrakion, though. What'd you keep it in if you saw Bisharp there, ready to just punch you in the face? He's going to switch, right? So should I just go knock off? I don't remember what his other Pokemon are. If he has a fire type, I'm going to be in trouble here. I feel like the Terrakion switch is about to happen. Unless he wants to lose it. You're going to switch Terrakion. You won't keep it in. You're not going to keep Terrakion in. Oh, he did. <laughs> oh, man. I'm dead. I am dead. I'm dead. Oh, why would you keep Terrakion in? He called him. All right. I tried to call his bluff. It didn't give me. Just give me a paralysis. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I could not be any more lucky. I could not be any more lucky. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, let's bring in Kangaskhan here. And then we're going to definitely Mega Evolve, Fake Out Venusaur. Because I don't know if I can take it on one double edge, and then we're going to Iron Head into Terrakion. So, I think that's the right call. I can't believe they didn't switch out. That's crazy to me. That's absolutely crazy. 
But I mean, maybe that's what they thought. They thought like, oh, he thinks I'm going to switch. I don't know. That's, you know, that's how Pokemon is sometimes, right? But we will get rid of Terrakion. He's going to get a free switch into something, but I am going to get rid of his Mega next time, I believe. I'm still not... I would say that... I would say that my opponent's at a slight advantage right now, simply because they get to choose what Pokemon... Oh, nope, 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 because I brought Verizion. So that Rotom, that Rotom is done. I'm going to double up into the Venusaur slot. It can't protect. It has to attack. Um, I don't know if I'm faster than it. I should be able to get it with... I'm just going to knock it off for the additional damage, and in case Venusaur... If Venusaur faints... Oh, but he might have... He might will with me with Rotom, huh? That's fine. I'm, I, I don't care. I don't care. I just need to get rid of Venusaur. Unless... Unless he switches out Venusaur and then... Actually, let's double up... Should I double up on the Rotom here? Let's double edge the Rotom. Oh, am I going to be... I don't know if Basharp's faster than Rotom. That's the problem. All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go for Venusaur. I'm doubling up on Venusaur, going with the knockoff, and let's see what happens. Oh, barely picked up the faint there. That was huge. And then uh, I'll do a lot of damage to Rotom, but it's probably gonna Willow Wisp me, which is gonna be a giant dagger. Yep, there it is. Ah. I feel like I made the right call, but it depends on what his last Pokemon is. Maybe saving a fake out. Oh, he has got Basharp as well. Okay. All right. I feel good. I'm feeling good about this. Let's go low kick into Basharp. And... It seems like I'm outspeeding that Rotom, so... What's better? Knock off? Knock off with the same type attack bonus, plus I'll get rid of his item. I don't think he's going to be able to get me with a Sucker Punch there. Um, Iron Head's what? Neutri it's uh, half. I'm going to go knock off. Knock off's probably better. All I have to do is get rid of his Bisharp. He's not going to get rid of Kang on a Sucker Punch. Nope. Nope. Low kick in your face. Low kick in your face, Bisharp. You hate low kick. You hate it because you dark. You dark and you steal. You hate it. <laughs> you hate low kick, dog. You hate low kick. Oh, man. That's GG because Verizion in the back, dude. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. I'm having really good games right now. Obviously, luck was on my side in that first one. I got the double paralysis. But, uh... My turn one of this game was was really, really bad when I essentially lost Thunderous when they doubled up onto that slot, right? Uh, was it like a Rock Slide or something? They, they basically got two attacks onto Thunderous, and that was pretty brutal. I wish I would have just gone with a, an Iron Head to end it, but we're looking great. Uh, my opponent might leave once they see Verizion jump on the field, but it'd probably just leave anyway, knowing that I have two Pokemon left. Let's see what happens. All right, Leaf Blade, Avi, no doubt, and I will just Sucker Punch as well. There it is, Sucker Punch. That might get him just a Sucker Punch. Nope, not enough, but Leaf Blade gonna do it. Man, I love this team is really good. This team is really, really good. Um, yeah, so let's think. I... I, I don't know what really to say necessarily about both of these matches. I, oh, <laughs> somebody's salty. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry that I just destroyed your team and you got angry. <laughs> sorry. All right. That was it. Oh, whoa. Hey, Eric Cartman. What are you doing here, silly guy? Hey, Justin. What's going on? <laughs> that was a pretty good match. I, I like playing Pokemon once in a while with uh, Polly Pussy Pant. All right, I'm going to stop. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop messing around. And uh, what was I going to say? Like, uh, we thunder waved, right? We were doing some thunder waves and stuff. And we got we got really lucky on a double paralysis. I wouldn't say that I necessarily won the match simply because of that last time. But um, that's one thing to take into consideration. Is, what, what would you... Here's the thing. Let me tell you something about Pokemon. Playing on chance is the way that 
winners play. I'm serious. I'm not saying that because it, it went well for me, and I'm not saying that because I'm good at Pokemon. I'm not good at Pokemon. I don't think I'm that good at Pokemon. I'd say I'm definitely very average to above average. I know a lot about Pokemon, but um, you know I can get caught off guard and stuff like that. There's still a lot for me to learn. But the top players you will see using low percentage high risk moves and it's just very similar in other types of games like card games and stuff like that it's you got to play the chance and uh, and i played it and it and it worked out this time and that's one thing to take into consideration people use will-o-wisp 85 percent people use rock slide people use uh overheat these are all moves that don't hit hydro pump 85 percent right i think has a 85 percent chance to hit these are all things that you know you put on your team because they do more damage and and i think the majority of the time it ends up working out now of course a thunder wave is one in four chance but that's just the game you got to play so anyway that's some of the stuff to take away from today's match don't forget to subscribe check out the description hit that like button if you want to see more battles every day at 3 p.m pacific standard time practicing with my five teams that I have, or actually I think I have like six or seven teams. Who knows? Who's counting, right? Head over to justinflynn.com or the justinflynn.tv if you want to check out some free Pokemon builds and analysis and stuff like that. It's all there on our forums, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace!